We chose the title The Voice of the Voiceless because in a sense that's very much what the church was, was doing or being during the war. South Sudanese often spoke of their war as being a forgotten war and it was the churches really who brought that war to the attention of the international community and who played a, a major advocacy role um, which really did bring the voice of the voiceless out into the open. The church played a major role in the ending the civil war which took place in Sudan, particularly in the southern part of Sudan from 1983 to 2005. And a couple of us who were very much involved with the church work during that period, we realised that a lot of it had never been written down. And as we all get older, as memories fade, as people pass on, we realised it needed to be written down because there are a lot of lessons to be learned from it. People need to know what the church has done and they need to know uh, some of the, the lessons, both practical and theological, that we can derive from that. We decided to write this book with me as the main author and with the two South Sudanese colleagues from the churches there because we wanted to highlight some of these issues. One, one is the issue of ecumenism. Uh, the church in South Sudan has always worked closely together and that was our strength. Another was uh, peace building. Uh, the churches probably didn't choose to be peace builders but as pastoral agents we felt that making peace was part of our role and also development work and humanitarian work. We also wanted to explore the theology of incarnation, that usually when there's a disaster or an emergency or a war, all of the helpers disappear, all of the United Nations and the aid agencies and everybody, they evacuate. But the church remains with the people, indeed the church is the people. And during the war, the institutional church remained on the ground with the people all the time and this is one of its great strengths. We hope this book will be of interest to a wide range of people, to South Sudanese themselves who of course have their own memories of the war but who may not have known everything that the churches did, to people like the United Nations and the aid workers who work in crisis situations, to theologians, to students of history, um, to academics, uh, particularly in the field of peace building. So we also hope it will just be an interesting read.